the question is, why do we have uh, such an efficient and complicated machinery within our own body? Why animals require a functioning endo endocannabinoid system in order to thrive, in order to exist? Well, the answer to this is probably uh, has to do with the most important activity for life to happen in general, which is sex. Okay, males need to secrete anandamide in order to initiate sexual behavior. And um, healthy levels of anandamide are also crucial for the pro production of um, live and swimming sperm, and as well for uh, testosterone producing cells. And as for females, virtually all steps of reproductive events are due uh, the fine-tuning of the endocannabinoid system. And in fact, both anandamide and 2-AG are present in the uterus, and the fine-tuning, the modulation of the levels of these cannabinoid, endocannabinoids is crucial for a successful embryonic passage through the oviduct and implantation into the uterus. Now, this is a cool picture. I like it. <laughs> but the thing is that not only... Both parents are required to have a healthy endocannabinoid system in order to be able to reproduce. The fetus must have it too in order to survive. And in fact, the endocannabinoid system is fundamental for the differentiation of progenitor neural cells into glia cells and neurons. And the CB1 receptors is responsible for the development of the fetus brain. It's so crucial that if we can't have a functioning copy of a CB1 receptor, we can't survive to birth. And this has been shown by a lab experiment with um, people try, uh, scientists trying to uh, create a knockout of CB1 uh, receptors, meaning that scientists were trying to create a strain of mice without a functioning CB1 uh, receptor. And what they obtained was that all the fetuses died. They could not survive until birth. So is that crucial? And then lastly, the endocannabinoid system is very important for the stimulation of the appetite in the newborns. And cannabinoid receptors are present all over the tongue muscles, and they initiate the suckling behavior. And again, lab experiments showed that by pharmacologically inhibiting the cannabinoid receptors um, on puppies, obviously you, you can't do this kind of things on humans, and unfortunately you can do it on animals, but anyway, these poor animals that were very young, they died within a week because they could not develop sufficiently. So I hope I'm bringing you enough evidences to show you that the endocannabinoid system is perhaps the most important physiologic system to um, establish and maintain our own health, human health and animal health. <laughs>